In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. In 1615, the Catholic Church and the Spanish Inquisition arrested Galileo and forced him to publicly recant his findings that the sun is the center of our solar system. Galileo's views threatened the church's power, so they attempted to silence him. In the 1800s, Charles Darwin faced vehement opposition from the church and those in power for sharing his hypothesis of natural selection and evolution. It took centuries for these ideas, increasingly supported by scientific research, to eventually become the foundations of modern biological sciences. After the Russian Revolution in 1917, the leading party of the Bolsheviks established the tradition of anti-intellectualism, suspecting people with a higher education to be traitors. Later, under the rule of Stalin, the research and teaching of genetics and other biological disciplines were restricted, or even banned by the government. Under the Nazi regime, universities were told what to teach, and who was allowed to teach was highly restricted as well. Research was completely controlled, directed and censored by the Nazi government. Experiments were executed on concentration camp prisoners, and science was twisted for the purpose of defining the perfect human, discriminating against everyone who did not fit into the political ideology. At the same time, in fascist Italy, the government declared itself pro-science, but in reality used science as an effective propaganda tool to justify its irrational choices. The majority of approved scientists were in fact devoted to the ideology of the government's policies. This included ideas such as racial purity and a belief that technicians should work toward military and technological independence from other countries. In 1966, Mao Zedong set forth the so-called Cultural Revolution. Contrary to what the name implies, schools and universities were closed and not reopened until the 1970s. And it got even worse. The Communist Party of China glorified the laborer and the industrial sector and sent intellectuals to rural labor camps or even to prison. In 2016, the president of Turkey restrained academics from leaving the country. Scientists and researchers whose work did not completely align with the state-leading party were and still are in serious danger. Turkey is on the verge of becoming a totalitarian state, with censorship being one of its key features. In his first week in office in 2017, President Donald Trump issued a media blackout for the Environmental Protection Agency and the USDA. He has frozen funding and grant money for the EPA. His administration has taken any mention of climate change off of the White House website and is planning on editing both of these organizations' official statements on climate change. They plan to subject scientific papers from these organizations to federal review before they can be released to the public, even though much of this research is funded by taxpayers. Science will not be silenced. It is the scientists behind it. Science is people and curiosity. You cannot kill it. As long as there are those who will go rogue and fight for the freedom of information. As long as there is one park ranger or one NASA scientist with a Twitter account. We will not be silenced. Let us revel in the audacity of science. Keep breaking the silence. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking out. Keep speaking out.